Hello everyone and welcome to Railroads Online and today we're going to have a look at the things that are in the new spline update beta. Um, first of all I have laid out some tracks over here so that we can see what the maximum length of splines are and well on the left here we've got the old splines and on the right we've got the new splines and as you can see the ties are don't sink properly into the nice end cap i really like the way they've done the end cap but the outside of the ties and even the edges of the ties and even the centers of the ties they're not flat ties that's some jank stuff that needs to be fixed the edges of the ties where the groundwork fill falls away from basically from the center that needs to be fixed it needs to push out like this is too far where they've got this out here on the edge this one comes out too far this one doesn't come out far enough okay the next thing we're going to look at is the length of spline okay the one that i'm currently running down are nine tie lengths uh, nine tie segments and this is how far a full spline goes and this is about 505 meters to this point and this one here is the full length that you can get which turned out to be about 623 meters before it let me click it in and this is the full length of spline that you can place in the old track system and all the way to the end here this is 1024 meters but these are every segment along here is a full length segment and it gets to 1024 meters so the new system is a shorter overall spline length than what the old system is which was one of the things that we were told would be bigger but what has changed is this was put in with one click at this end one click at the other end now another thing that i've noticed is you're supposed to be able to line this up to anywhere so i'll go grab a piece of the track and you can see we'll line up the edge of it here on this rail that i've aligned along here and you can see that it does not line up and if i set it to 338 degrees it doesn't fit and 339 doesn't fit the other way so you can't actually line it up to everything there's not enough increments to line up perfectly to everything now i noticed this when i was at the um sawmill and i was trying to line it up to the pond and i could not get it to line up perfectly um, okay so building with this new system is very very easy and well, what i'm going to do here is i'm going to very quickly build in off the end of here and it should let me place it down where it, when it shows the link there's the link we'll build a small ladder yard here in front of the freight depot you know something else i've noticed that's weird is when you put your piece of track on here it'll tell you how long it is but all of this is supposedly one meter it doesn't give you any increments and you can't actually set a fixed Setting for the distance like we were told that we would be able to set a fixed distance um, Now let's see what happens if we change the grid up to 10 does nothing So changing the grid Oh, there we go. If we change it to one that snaps it to one meter length So there's exactly on the meter length um, Let's toggle that back round to one that's on one centimeter ten centimeter lengths 50 centimeter lengths So that should be let's have a look here okay yeah so that's setting it 50 centimeters each time it adds an increment so we'll set it on meter lengths because that's what makes this fit together properly with the with the double tracks um which button is it it's that button We'll set it on meter lengths and we'll put it on four meters and this is pretty much the same method as building a ladder track in 
the old system and we put down another switch and again we come to the end and we put on straight track and we don't have to worry about it going straight it will just automatically go straight now off the end and what these short pieces are replacing is literally a cross track and well cross tracks 3.83 meters long so these are replacing what we would have put in as a cross track um, and then another switch to the right oh that was the wrong one so delete it out the switch stand needed to be standing the other way it's that one And it is so hard to get the icon to actually stay there while you click it in. You've got to hold your mouse dead still. Okay, now off the end of here, we will be able to build a nice straight line. And it won't let us do anything else but the straight line. All the way past to the other end. And you can't be standing on it when you place it in. Otherwise, you'll get buried in it. It doesn't pop you to the surface. Now, that's a known bug. That will more than likely get fixed. Okay, we'll try that again. Connect to the end. This time, we'll run beside it. Down somewhere here to the other end. That should be far enough. And we'll place in that piece of track. Now, the same old trick that we used to have to do to turn around a switch you still have to do it and it's pretty much exactly the same method except instead of using a cross track on the end you just use a small piece of track turn around and delete it and then we come back and we want the turnout on this side and we put a small piece of track on there and delete that and delete that and measure back with the distance and put a small piece of track on the end and now we can put the piece in that is actually the cross track turned around and see it still matches up however that is not actually connected you now have to delete this piece you put here in the middle and put it in again. And come all the way to the end. And you can see it lines up perfectly. However, it won't let you click it in. You actually have to turn off the circle mode and get the link. And get the link to show and click it in and now it's connected and well this piece here won't be connected either we have to remove it and put in a new piece here and we need to turn on the build mode again and put it on four meters and click in our piece and another switch And another four meter piece of track. And another switch. Same as the last one. Okay, now we have to come all the way to this end. And we can remove this switch out of here now. And we can build in this curve. All we have to do is turn there's no you know measuring curves anymore of the three degree and then three seven degrees all you got to do is turn that off and snap it on and it automatically makes that curve that's nice and again we don't want to put the straight on because we're connecting from one end to the other end done I know it's good having this um, dev speed. And again, the last one. And we don't want to have it locked on the, because we need to snap it to the end of here. 
And that is all placed. And we can delete this last one here and connect it up to here. And there we go. We have got a small ladder yard built, which enters from that side and exits from that side. However, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven splines. In the old system, that would have all been done with five splines. So there's two extra splines in this ladder yard than what there would have been in the old system. If you build your track very good and you optimize your spline counts. So that works. It works brilliantly and it was very quick and easy to build it, but it has increased the spline count. Now to build again off of this end, you do have to remove that one because we were playing around with switches. And again, this becomes easy as well. Let's put our corner mode on and we'll just pull it out here and we will start going around the curve. Oop, wrong way. And it'll go a hundred at a time. And we'll put a hundred meter radius corner in here and just keep pulling it out until it's pointing the right direction, which is about there. Make sure you're not standing in the track, click it in. And the next piece of track. And of course it's going to be automatically pointing to, we don't want it to go that way. We want it to go this way. And well, I normally have just a little tiny short straight here. After that curve. And now we'll run it out again, full length. All the way up to about here. Then we need to turn down that grid. And, well, where did it go? Considering this is meant to be on small increments of corner. And how is that a thousand metre radius corner? I don't believe it. So I can't put in the same curve that I used to put in to go around here, which was a quarter of a percent. It will not let me put it in anymore. That is the highest increment we can get. From straight and it goes straight to here and then I get small increments. This is an error. See the, the wide variation of where that goes from? That's straight. And then it goes small increments from there. That is a bug that needs to be fixed. You cannot put in gentle curves. So the only thing we can do is bring it back until it's somewhat pointing the right direction. which is about there. Click it in and go for another straight. Um, G menu. And of course it's going to continue trying to build that same curve and we need it to go straight now until we get up to just past here. Oh, run on too fast. To about here and click it in and you can see that's nearly straight all the way big boring long straight and now we need to start curving around this corner Put it back on a thousand and we'll turn this up to go 10 and 10 degrees at a, oh pardon me 10 degrees at a time until we get the right radius for this curve and we need to go a little bit more around further yet i think Now 
time or the, the next problem comes, you need to plan out previous to what you're going to do, where you're going to put your switches because you can't just in the middle of this section, delete it and decide, well, I'm going to put a switch in there and you know, your segment lengths are only, what, 15 to 30 foot long and you only need to remove, you know, four or five segments to put a switch in. Now, if you decide you're going to put a switch in, you've got to remove a whole big section to get your switch in the right place. So let's see if we can work out how to get the switch in here because we need to put a Y in here at the... And we'll curve this around here. Around this corner. Now, we need to put the Y in here somewhere. which I'm just going to have a little estimate. I'm going to say about here, we need to put in a Y. And we want one that goes to the left. Now we want to spin this all the way back around the other way. Thirty is the tightest little lettuce place, which is too tight to go around, of course. And it wants eighty meters, and I think we need to go a little bit tighter than eighty meters. There's a twenty-five degree curve in the old system, and well, that tells me that this is still using. And we'll check it in a second. Uh, 70 meters because that's about what a 25 degree curve was in the old one was 70 meters and somewhere about there okay now our switch is pointing the wrong way so we'll put in our switch anyway because we need to come forward and and then we, all we can do is put a short piece of track on the end because we've got to turn the switch around. And I don't think we wanted to put a curve there because if we put a curve there, it's going to place it back in not straight. So we actually, and there's no reset button. There needs to be a button put in so that you can reset this back to zero very quickly. Put in a short little straight there. And then we need to turn around and delete that out of there. And put the switch back in the other direction. And it will be that one. And now this will not be connected here. So we have to come in here and we have to delete that and put it back in again. And turn off the corner mode. And tell it to snap. Now again, we have to do the same thing here again to build back this way. Now we want to tell it to do a 25 degree corner, which would be 70. Oh, wrong way. So Take it down to, and well, of course it goes to 30s then. Turn that back to 50, and that's 80. And turn that to 70. So where does that bring our corner out at? And we messed up, we haven't put the switch in the right place. So we need to unbuild it and do it all again, because there's our switch there, and we are not far enough around this curve so and we are lined up pretty well with where we needed to be well, let's take this corner up a little bit tighter see if we can get it in at 50. And 
I'm all connect on to here. And we'll also try and go around this corner at Is no good. Forty. That will put it in at fifty and bring it a little bit further forward. Perhaps we won't. Let's move it over here to 55. And put it in there like that. And now we'll put a switch on the end. And we're only measuring the distance. And all of these curves have to get put in twice. And connect to the end. Give me the symbol. It just doesn't like to do it sometimes. There it is. No, there. And again, we need to set this piece back to straight again. And it just takes a long time to get it back to straight. There we go. Put in a short piece of track. And then we put the switch back the opposite direction. And neither of these tracks work. So we have to delete that one and delete that one. And put them in manually again and turn off the corner mode. And just tell it to connect. And again, same thing here, turn off the corner mode. over here and just tell it to connect and if it's too sharp it'll just go no I won't do it the link icon there it is and there we go we have made a Y but that was a lot more difficult than what it needed to be here's something else I don't like now this comes off square here It'd be nice if it was nice and smoothed around back to the rest of the track. And then again here, it does the same thing here as well. Doesn't line up neatly into the curve. Much work needs to be done with the generation of the groundworks. Okay, so let's come out over here into the middle of this big flat area. And we're going to put it, make a corner here that has got a 100 meter radius. So we'll put down a piece of rail. We'll align it somewhat this direction. Oh, that's close enough. We'll put it to there. Okay, we'll put on the corner mode. We want that to be on thousands, hundreds. No, we need to go the other way. And we want to make a 100 meter radius circle. And that's not how you do it. Try again. Is that as far as it's going to let us place it around the curve? Ooh, we'll click that one in. And it should continue our curve now at the 100 meter radius. Oh, 
I'll put it in in a couple of sections because it'll keep building 100, 100 around the circle. Until it does silly things again. There it goes. It just says it won't place anymore. And here's another thing. If you go too deep, it will not let you place. If the groundwork starts to go in the air and it looks like this little spot here, the groundwork is in the air. And that was as far as it'll let us build it. So we actually need to step up to the next depth of groundworks because that's what these are. They're, they're three different depths of dip groundworks. And snap it on there and maybe this time it'll let us build it around here. Yes. We can come back to the shallow groundworks. around the curve until it says no you just can't put any more around the curve now this circle with the old spline you would have been able to do this in a single spline and it's taking multiple splines to get it to do this Okay, now our next section of track, what we're going to do, because it reckoned it was a 100 metre radius, and we're 278. somewhere from here but we want to be at perpendicular to the track put it on ones wrong way line it up to the tires that should get us pretty much perpendicular wrong way too far that's pretty good okay then we'll line up from the center here and we want to turn on circle mode and we don't want any radius put it on zero and now we want to measure across this circle and it should be 200 meters across the circle and indeed it is 200 meters so the why has that got a curve in it that shouldn't have a curve one more for zero there we go exactly 200 meters that's spot on, 200 metres. So the degrees for um, the radius has been fixed in this beta update. It is no longer measuring the radius. You are now measuring the... Um, you're, you're now actually measuring the radi radius and not the diameter. So that means when you use a 30 meter corner in what's currently there that would have been a 60 meter corner in the old system and well you could safely use a 50 meter corner in the old system so 60 meters is wider um and what was a 35 degree in the old system so it looks like and um, i think 33 degrees is I'm talking in the old system, 33 degrees in the old system. 
worked out at 59 metre in the old system. And if you halve that, that's 30. So you're basically placing the old system 33 degree curve. So it is safe to go all the way down to that tightest curve. Hmm. So yes, there's lots of things still to work out with this. It's the, the building is very clunky. You can you can do it, it is, and it's much quicker. Like we've gotten over here in a couple of minutes built to you know a ladder yard at the freight depot and then built over here up to the sawmill, ready to start putting the stuff in around the sawmill. And it'll it's simply a matter of it'll take you a little bit to build boards, build backwards on each one of these times when you have to turn around a witch because you've got to pull the spline out from in between and put it back in again. But yes, this has definitely used more splines than what I did on the tutorial map. This entire length from here up to this point on the tutorial map was only about eight splines, including the yard at the freight depot and the Y. And this here is easily over 12. And where you could measure it, the seven in the end, um, one, two, three, four, five to get to here. So we're already over the counter what, did, what, I, what I used in the tutorial map. So this building system definitely uses more splines than the old system if you build your tracks well. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Well, I can say that I'm not very happy currently with the new building system. And I hope it gets improved a great deal before it is actually released to the main or even until we get the next version of it in the beta. There are so many things that this does not do that the old system does do. All right, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.